Gotland is Sweden's largest island with a surface area of 3183.7 square kilometers and a population of 61,000 inhabitants. In this video, I will talk about the geography of Gotland, but also a short history and about the places you should visit here. The island of Gotland and the other areas of the province of Gotland make up of 0.8% of Sweden's total land area. Gotland is located about 90 kilometers east of the Swedish mainland and about 130 kilometers from the Baltic states, Latvia being the nearest. From a military standpoint, it occupies a strategic location in the center of the Baltic Sea. The highest elevation on the island is only 82 meters. The climate of the island is a mix between oceanic and continental. Summers are cooler and the winters milder than in most of mainland Sweden. However, in spite of its maritime location, the island's climate is very much influenced by continental airflows. Main temperatures are about 0 degrees Celsius in January and 17 degrees in July. Since winters usually remain just above freezing and brackish water remain liquid longer than fresh water, the sea remains ice-free all year round, except during rare extreme cold waves. The last time the whole passage from the mainland to Gotland froze was in 1987, when icebreakers were used to maintain passenger and goods traffic to the island. And now, a short history of the island. Gotland has been inhabited since approximately 7200 BC. In the Middle Ages, Gotland was a commercial center, with the town of Visby, the most important Hanseatic city in the Baltic Sea. In 1361, Gotland was conquered by Valdemar IV of Denmark. Since the Treaty of Brunsebro in 1645, the island has remained under Swedish rule. In April 1808, the island was occupied by Russians led by Nikolai Andreevich, but the Russian forces left the island a month later, on the 18th of May 1808. On the 16th of July 1999, the world's largest Viking silver treasure, the Spilling's Hoard, was found on the island. The treasure consisted of two parts with a total weight of 67 kilograms with more than 14,000 coins. About 40% of residents are living in Visby, which is the biggest town on the island and the seat of Gotland municipality. The Hanseatic city of Visby is arguably the best preserved medieval city in Scandinavia, and since 1995 it has been on the UNESCO World Heritage Site list. Visby's spectacular town walls are about 3.5 kilometers long and were built of limestone in the later part of the 13th century. Dotting these formidable medieval walls are 44 towers standing 15 to 20 meters high. Near the northeast stands the Maiden's Tower, where legend has it that the daughter of a Visby goldsmith was walled up alive for betraying the town to the Danes out of love for the Danish king Valdemar Attertag. The Gotland Museum is located in Visby and is the County Museum of Gotland. It was founded by the Friends of Gotland's Antiquities Society in 1875. The museum owns a number of houses and farms on Gotland, some of which are used as museums. Permanent exhibitions include not only antiquities and artifacts dating back some 8000 years from the Stone Age to the Viking times, but also natural history and art. Highlights include fossils unique to the shores of the Baltic, the world's biggest hoard of Viking silver, and priceless runic stones. The Visby Cathedral it lies in the center of Visby and was built as the church of the German traders in the city during the 13th century. Originally built as a basilica, it was successfully expanded and rebuilt during the Middle Ages. At the end of this period, it had been transformed to a whole church, which it still is. 
Now one of Visby's most visited tourist attractions, its most notable features include the massive square tower on the west front and two smaller towers at the east end. Not far away from the cathedral can be seen the ruins of St. Nicolai Church. Once part of a Dominican monastery, the church was built around 1230 and the Lübeckers destroyed it in 1525. The former church has been converted into a semi-covered concert hall. In August, during week 32, from Sunday to Sunday, the annual medieval week on Gotland is held. During this week, regularly dressed tourists are outnumbered by people that are dressed in medieval costumes. The festival started in 1984 and comprises of a variety of events, music, theater, a medieval market, tournaments and much more. On Faroe Island, northeast of Gotland, you must visit the rocks, a column-like limestone landforms. They are almost 10 meters tall and surrounded by pebble beach and a barren landscape. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting places on the Gotland Island that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.